Hi, this is Dr. Gordo, and welcome to The Raven and the Writing Desk. Today, we're looking at three common words in English. There, there, and there. These words are homophones. They're spelled different, but through the magic of the English language, they're pronounced the exact same way. And because they're used so often, almost every day I see them being used improperly in the form of grammatical mistakes, spelling errors, that sort of thing. So I thought I'd put together a short video called There, 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 Everything Will Be Okay. So let's take a look at these three different words and specifically how they're used. First up, T-H-E-R-E, -E, there. This form of there has two definitions. Most of the time you hear it, it's in a direction. It's serving as an adverb. So I'll look here while you look over there. What's the difference between here and there? Here's your immediate surroundings. Uh, follow the same rules we do for this and that. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. If it's within arm's reach, it's here. If it's not within arm's reach, it's there. So if something is there, it's not in your immediate surrounding. We also use T-H-E-R-E -E as an exclamation. It's a filler word. Filler words have no actual meaning. They're just something that we say just to literally fill uh, the sentence. The whole name of this video, there, there, there. That, those are comforting words. How are they comforting? I'm not really sure. But it's just like, hey, there, there, it's okay. It's just something to say to get someone's uh, attention, uh, or rather get their attention away from something uh, unpleasant. Or you may say it out of frustration. There, we're done. There as in it's finished. It's an exclamation. So obviously the first definition makes a little bit more tangible sense. The second one, uh, don't worry too much about it. Just be aware. Sometimes people will just say there, there and not have it mean anything. It's just a filler word. Let's move on. T-H-E-I-R, there, is the plural possessive pronoun. Pronouns? are words we put in the place of nouns, quite common. If you're not sure about pronouns, check out our video on that. Possessive means that something belongs to something else. We own things. And there's many different ways uh, that we express ownership depending on singular, plural, and, and so forth. So look at the sentence, the gamers picked up their controllers. The controllers belong to the gamer. So they're their controllers. The second meaning of T-H-E-I-R is if someone's gender is unknown, we can use there as a singular possessive pronoun. The student indicated their preferred pronouns. So most of the time you're using there, it's going to be plural possessive, but every once in a while you'll see it as a singular. Either way, it's a possessive. We're referring to something that belongs to someone else. Moving on. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, there, is a contraction of two words, they and are. They is the plural pronoun or preferred singular pronoun. The workers did not know what they were doing. Aliyah prefers to be referred to as they. The word are is the second person singular present and first, second, and third person plural present of the verb to be. So we bring it all together. They are a big help. They're a big help. So, to recap, T-H-E-R-E -E is a direction or filler word. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E -E is a contraction of they are. And T-H-E-I-R, there, is a possessive. There is a big reward for those who take their time to learn. They're amazing. 
That is the long and the short of it. Please check out other videos in our series, such as Verbs Galore and our one on pronouns. In the meantime, like and subscribe. And should you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye.